Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Blind with me, Oxfu. And for some reason a Mona Lisa copy is up on the wall. Or that at least that's what it looks like. And I've decided that this time we are going to try and get to the other storage room where Rebecca was. Because Wesker might have left us more ammo. <gasps> what? Oh my god. I thought I was ahead of the game, too. <laughs> we were decapitated. I, I can't believe that. I, I can't believe that. That we were killed. We were taken down from orange to dead in one hit. Well, I guess we're not going that way. I guess we gotta go snaky. I'll meet you guys in a bit when I get back to where I was. Blah, 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 blah. Now it's just mocking me. Oh, I have to do Vigil. I have to... Oh, I have to do Vigil. I have to... Rekill Plant 42. This is going to be great. You have once again entered the world of survival horror. Oh, wait. We can solve this while we're at it. No. Go over here, Chris. Panel with number keys. Will you push the keys? Yes, I will. A one, a two, a four, a five. Three licks to get to the center of the Tootsie Pop. How many licks will it take to get to... How many... <laughs> How many stars members will it take to get to the center of the haunted mansion and um, the umbrella conspiracy? The world may never know. Seriously, it's like Resident Evil 98 now. <laughs> well, not this game, like the number of Resident Evil games they have out there. Because I know that Resident Evil 5 came out and then... Well, no, Resident Evil 6 was announced. And then... They just came out with Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles, or no, no, Operation Raccoon City. There's two versions of this game. There's Resident Evil 0, Resident Evil 2, 3, 4, 5, Code Veronica or something like that. There's so many Resident Evil games, it's ridiculous. And I hear there's only like a few good ones too. Uh, this one, 2, people say 4 is good, but I, I don't... It doesn't look that great to me. It looks like a third-person shooter, really. Oh, come on, I thought I had you. I'm not in the mood for this. It looks like... It just looks like more of a shooter than a survival horror game, to be honest. And best, best voice acting of all time coming up. It's fantastic. Last time I was going through this, I noticed. Just listen to what Rebecca says. The first three words that come out of her mouth. Well, after Chris gets snagged by this guy, of course. She's leaving the room, too. And then she goes through a blocked or blocked door. Chris! One Chris. Rebecca, no. It's no use. The roots of it are in the basement. You could... Whoa! Chris! To Chris. Take this file with you. Use the information in it in order to make the potion and kill the root. Becca, please. Chris! Three don't Chris. Die. <laughs> it's like she forgot. It's either she must forget who she's talking to, or am I talk, or think that Chris must be forgetting that who she's talking to. Like, are you talking to Plant Forty Two? Like saying, "Don't die, Plant Forty <laughs> I don't know. It's just silly. It's not very convincing dialogue when one of the characters just says three things in a row, <laughs> or one thing three times in a row. Especially when, you know, 
she could be saying like i'll do it chris or okay chris <laughs> not that hard but whatever i mean rebecca's lines go over the realm from cheesy to just plain silly Oh, I can't believe it. Are you okay? Yeah, so much for him. We got to the root of the problem. Just oh, Chris, you're you're a you're really? a funny man. Thank you. You should you should you should play. You, do you should be a comedian me, you? in this mansion. I bet you you'd knock your audience you. dead. Whoa, Chris, this is Richard's radio. We received communication. Here we go. No, 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 what? Why would you do that, Chris? Why? Actually, that worked out pretty much. That worked out pretty well. Kudos to you, Chris. That was... Surprisingly smart. Okay, I wasn't sure if there was anything actually beyond that. All right. Um, hmm. Yes, yes. I want to get the Doom Book. Actually, no, I want to get the Magnum Rounds as well. I want to search. Oh, I have a feeling there, there should be more in here. So let's take the Magnum Rounds first. Full metal casing. Can't re re read what the rest of it says. Might have said like 30 caliber. It doesn't look like I can check anything else in here. No, no, no. No, nothing. Nothing uncommon. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna save the magnum rounds because we don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna get the magnum. So it seems like a good investment to me. I'm going in here. Because we get the extra ammo from Wesker. And that's more useful to me than... Anything else. Oh shoot, I was wasted a shot. Doesn't matter, we took him out in three. Oh, thank you, Wesker. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are so much of a cooler guy in my book because you have done this. Yes, I will. And summarily use all of them. I don't know if that's the right pronunciation, but it sounds correct to me. Yes, I will take the first aid spray. And yes, I will take this clip. Yes, thank you very much. I'll throw the first aid kit in here, the first aid spray in here. I will take the other clip. I will combine that. Those two. I don't like that we've used too many two bullets too many. Cause I'm planning on jumping down Snakey's hole again. And I know we won't be getting many bullets from there. Unless that corpse that the two zombies were eating has bullets in it. Alright. 
Oh, I would have thought the light would have stayed on. Hmm. That does not bode well the next time we enter here, then. I'm supposing. Because I'm supposing we're going to have to do something important in there. We're going to have to turn the light on, and there's going to be someone hidden. Lovely. <laughs> check you so I don't think we did yet open and there's a medal in the book and eagle medal is there any no there's nothing on the other side okay okay we're gonna drop that off honestly I don't know where we'd put an eagle medal at all Drop off that. Pick up the shells and oh, I wish we could. Ooh, I wish we could take the combat knife with us, but I'm not leaving anything else behind. We can always come back for stuff too. It's not like we're going to fight Snakey then coming right back, or and then never coming back. We can actually come back for stuff before jumping down this time. Alright, I think I'm going to be a little bit smarter with the shotgun, because the more, more we can save of the shotgun, the easier Snakey will be. There we go. Perfect. Oh yeah, we need the lighter, don't we? Hmm. We do. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm gonna I'm gonna just be a lot more cautious, that's all. <laughs> I think that's the best way to go about it. Because this way we stay alive. Oh uh, later. I know these last two episodes have been a bit redundant um, because I'm doing stuff that I've already done, but I think that this part is important to show you guys the way that I've changed uh, my method of play uh, rather than just be like, oh yeah, we're back here. I did everything. I'm so cool at being good at Resident Evil. Because I don't think that's fair to either myself or to you guys. There we go. And use. And get the map. Yes, I will. Thank you very much. It's very helpful. I need to look out this window at all? No. That's okay. And then right next to us is Snakey's room, which... Um, I'm not gonna go in yet. Because I want to drop off the lighter and pick up the... whatever I dropped off to pick up the lighter. The shotgun shells, those would be pretty handy in this fight, actually. <laughs> Ultimately, ultimately uh, the reason I'm deciding to go this way is because there's no there's no lizard men, or at least there's the one lizard man. Um, but basically, 
I'd rather go this way and not have to and only have to deal with zombies than I have to then deal with any lizard men. Shelves, there we are. Mm. So I don't know how powerful the first aid spray is either, so I'm, I don't really want to waste it. Whereas I know exactly how powerful the... As far as I know, the, the first aid spray just brings me right up to full health. And I know that the two green herb mixture doesn't quite do that. I think I'm still a little damaged when I use it at danger. So I'd rather take the two green herb with me and save the first aid spray for later. Corners. All right, well. That was a whole lot of preparation, and I'm probably going to put a few clips that I deem funny enough to put in between. Crack my neck. Between, um. The part where I died in this part, so. For this, I don't know if this will be a short or long episode, because I had to backtrack quite a lot, but um, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil with Fu, and we'll take on Snakey again and see how far we can get with the basement again. <laughs> take it easy, guys.